What's up everybody? It's a beautiful morning and Cole and I are hanging out in our favorite room, the sun room. Every morning this is the first room that we run to so we can glance out these big windows here and take a look at the lake and so we can see what sorts of visitors we might have in our yard. Whenever I say visitors I mean wildlife and this morning our yard is just teeming with all sorts of wildlife. There's some wood ducks, there was a bunch of pelicans out in the lake, some cormorants, all of our little squirrels. We have like six squirrels that live here in these trees. They're always out here cutting up and being crazy, especially this time of year. And it's all sorts of other little songbirds and turtles and snakes. There's just endless amounts of wildlife out here um, that we were actually able to see this morning. But uh, anyways, we have a big day planned. We have a lot of fun things in store. But before we get going on with that, we want to show you some of the visitors that we had in our yard this morning. Wood ducks y'all just saw, they've been coming up in our yard like every morning about 8 o'clock in the morning just for like the last like week or so. I guess it's been like a week. Every day straight, like routine, they walk up from the from the water, come up here, eat some acorns, and then they go off. And I think that we really need to consider making a wood duck box yes. to hang up over here so we can get some little baby wood ducks this spring. That'd be <laughs> awesome. But now since it's a really beautiful day, we're going to go out and do a little bit of fishing. I mean... Could you blame us? It's beautiful out here. <laughs> the only issue we're dealing with right now is we have some pretty strong winds blowing out there and uh, I don't think we're going to put our kayaks in just yet. We might put them in this afternoon when the wind lays down. So I think we're just going to walk out here on our dock and make a few casts and hopefully catch a couple of our pet bass. Yes, we've been catching the same bass off the same little <laughs> little spot the last three days in a row. So maybe we can catch him again. <laughs> and we both, we both the last two days missed a good one. Yeah. So, so hopefully we can we'll catch, catch that today. one. Ready to go? Yeah. Okay, let's go down and catch a couple fish real quick. That's windy. Oh, uh. it. <laughs> I literally pitched it right there. And I told you that's where I got bit at. And then I reeled it in, threw it back over there, and hit a little spot, and he bit it. <laughs> Dang. There he is. Big. Big. Oh god. Big. Oh god, it is a big and cool. Big. Oh my gosh. That's what I'm talking about. Oh my gosh, my gosh. Listen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Check it out. That's a good way to start the day. Man, this fish is beautiful. It's a fatty too. Look how fat that belly is. Turn him around a little bit. It's Ooh. a female. Pull the eggs, little babies in there. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> she smoked my swim bait right by the dock. And man, I just love catching them on this rod. It's my six cents, seven two extra heavy. Woo! Good stuff. Didn't stand a chance. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. Oh, he's little. But I'm not missing this one. <laughs> he was just way out there at the very end of my cast. I was like, I can't wait for you to move so I can cast over there and catch him. Whew, that wind is cold. I ain't playing. Hey. There's my fish. <laughs> I'm gonna let you go. Be free, little buddy. Nice. I'm tapping ah. out. What up, Mr. Bass? We just caught a couple of your buddies out there in the lake. You're looking a little hungry. How about me and Jago get you some worms? You want some worms? I think you want some worms. Yeah, you definitely want some worms. Gonna get some worms we can take home and feed our animals. We've got a hungry siren and an amphuma and some fish and some turtles that would love some fresh worms. See anything in there, Jay? Yeah. Oh, yeah. 
<laughs> Making her do the dirty work. <laughs> I like doing the dirty work. Where the big ones at? How ironically, we found this little worm container out here in the woods. Snatch him, Jay. He's coming Snatch right to him. me. Snatch him. Snatch him. Oh, good boy. <laughs> He don't even know what's happening. Oh, there's one in your hand. Yep. Looky there. Oh, wow. You see those? There's some worms underneath this pot. Maybe that's what we need to do. We need to flip over all these pots out here. Yeah. And coolers, some coolers. Look at that. Whoa. <laughs> I was about to throw this piece of grass down. Look at that one. <laughs> Come to daddy. It looks like a snake. Now that, that's the pride of Arkansas right there. That's a big one. <laughs> He can probably stretch out to be a foot long. Oh yeah. Dang. That's a big one. <gasps> worms. There's, oh, there's newts. We what? got a worm and some newts. Newts? Yeah, newts. <gasps> oh, there's three, three of them. Oh, get them. These are those little central newts we showed you guys in our uh, our mud snake video. And these are those juvenile F stage newts once again. This one's a little bit more of a mature individual. It's crazy that these guys will remain in this juvenile state for like, sometimes up to five years or so, even longer than that. This one might be a five-year-old newt for all I know, because he's pretty big. There's a little creek back over that way in the woods, and I'm assuming that's where the adults came from, and where these guys will eventually make their way back to. Again, if you don't remember from that video, or if you haven't seen yet, let me put this little guy back. Let's focus on this bigger one. When you flip him over, Look at their bellies. Don't hate me, little buddy. You see that, Jay? Mm -hmm. Look how bright orange that belly is. And again, these are salamanders. They're just a little rough skinned salamander. They're in the family Salamandra Day. But they're super cool, super cute nonetheless. And uh, we still want to find an adult yeah. central newt sometime soon. They're out. So we need to go out and look for them. But until then, got you, buddy. I'm going to put him back underneath this cooler. They kind of have a little cavity, a little crater. And I'm gonna flip the cooler back over on them. Bye bye, guys. All right, we got plenty of worms. Now we are on our way back home and we are about to feed our animals. It's about to get wild. Mr. Bass. I got you a delicious treat. Do you want it? He wants it bad. Woo! <laughs> Dude loves worms. <laughs> Boom! Nice. nice catch, buddy. Okay, we'll come back in a minute. Maybe I'll we'll smoke that minnow right there. Do it. <gasps> oh my gosh! He tried. Oh, he's about to get that big worm. His nose is right on it. The worm's not really moving. He likes them. He likes the worms when they're moving. He smells it. There he goes. There he goes. Oh my god. Savage. It's like a giant spaghetti noodle, <laughs> but it's fighting back. What if spaghetti noodles did that to us when we were eating them? <laughs> wow. I think that'll be all he needs for a little bit. And that little beetle's in there cleaning up scraps. Look at that. He's like, get out of here, beetle. <laughs> I think that big worm's gonna hold over the siren for a little bit, at least for the rest of the night. We'll probably feed him some more worms tomorrow. But anyways, Granny just called us a moment ago and she said she's back home. She wants us to take the golf cart back over there, pick her up, and go on an adventure. Now this is the way to get around town. I'm on top of the golf cart. Got Jay in there. She's driving us. Granny's in the passenger seat. We're heading back the long way around, back over to our place. And uh, we're gonna get a couple of tools and we're gonna go uh, get by the lake and see if we can find some cool creatures out there lurking in some of the grass mats. Maybe underneath a couple of rocks and logs, boards, I don't know. But we're just gonna, we're just gonna tour around out here on the golf cart, try to uncover something neat. And uh, it's gonna be fun.
Okay, so we came over here to this property. We were gonna go back here and check out this little swampy area, but we didn't have to go far at all because we pulled up, looked down, we drove right past it, and look, there is a Mississippi green water snake. Okay, it's a non-venomous species. You've seen it on our channel before. He's just out here basking on the pavement. It's a nice warm day. And I tried to talk Granny into catching it, but she wasn't having any of that. But I'm trying to convince her that this is a this is a nice snake. It's non-venomous. They might have a little bit of an attitude, but it's not that big of a deal to catch this snake and hold it. So I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna grab this snake, I'm gonna show her how nice it's gonna be, and maybe we can talk her into holding it. Wouldn't that be awesome? Wouldn't that be awesome, Granny? Okay. When was the last time you held a water snake? Huh? Have you ever held a water snake before? No. No? Okay. So with this snake, him just being here chilling, just basking, you know he's not. He's not really active, he's not really stressed out. So if we just go in gently, he'll probably remain calm. If we go in really fast, he might strike out and get all crazy and agitated. Don't make him mad. <laughs> I'll try not to. Water snakes are unpredictable. All right, you see how I picked him up really gently? He's kind of cool, he's not super warmed up. He's flickering his tongue now, trying to get a sense of his surroundings and trying to understand like who I am and what I am and why I have him in my hands. You see that, Granny? Mm -hmm. He's nice. He's just cool, you can hold him just like that. You both your hands out, we can set him right in your hands. Or if you want to hold him behind the head, we can hold him behind the head. What are you thinking? <laughs> you want to hold him in your hands like that? There, just put him, just lay him in my hand. Okay, are you sure? Yeah. We can hold them another way. You sure with it? You good with Please this? Don't get my thumb. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> Snake. <laughs> isn't he cute, Aww. Granny? Oh, he's cute, isn't he cute? He's so Look cute. Look at that tongue sticking out. Yeah, he's there. tasting isn't you. Cute? He's tasting his surroundings, he's trying to figure out, you know. He's he's looking at Jay. He wants to go get Jay. He wants to go get Jay. <laughs> Look at it. See, he's, he's, looking at, he's looking at Jay. That's a really good specimen. I think he's really pretty. Really pretty snake. There's not a blemish on this one. They get a little bit bigger. That's about an average size snake that you're going to find. It's about two feet long. And uh, I think that if you're ready, if you want to hold on to him, you can hold on to him for as long as you want to. But if you want to put him back, we can um, just put him back. <laughs> um, I, think I'm, I think I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> you sure? Yeah, but he's really not very scary. Mm -mm. See, guys, if Granny can do it, anybody can do it. But we, we highly advise for you guys to not go out and pick up wild snakes unless you're able to accurately identify them first because yeah, if this unless, were... Unless you pick it up first. <laughs> right, because if this was okay, a venomous what snake... What I do, just lay it here. Hold your hands. You want me to get him? Hold your okay. hands. All right. And there he is. Beautiful. <laughs> Mississippi green water snake, Nerodia cyclopean. Non-venomous water snake. First find of the day. Put him back right here where we found him. <laughs> We're just walking along these railroad ties and uh, flipping over a couple rocks here and there and we flipped over this brick and when we flipped it over I noticed a snake tuck its tail underneath this one. We just got a small glimpse of the tail. There's some geese over there. They're getting excited. We're excited. It didn't, didn't look like a very big snake. But I think Granny said that she wanted to try to catch it. That's why we came out here looking. J Granny wanted to catch this snake. She thought she was done. So hopefully he's under there. Hey, Granny, I'm you ready? So excited. Granny, you gotta get down and get ready, Granny. <laughs> get down and get ready. Okay, are, you, oh, are, are you ready? Yeah. Okay, let's see if he's there. Oh, I see him. I see him. I see him, Granny. Jay, you see him? Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. You see him, Granny? Yes. Look at that. Looks like a plain-bellied water snake. Well, let's flip it over to check and see. It's not venomous, Granny. It's a little snake. <laughs> can, can I you, Can you grab it? Get him right behind the head. Be easy, though. Whoa! Good job, Granny! It's <laughs> <laughs> pretty. Yeah, no, it's a diamondback. Granny, you got a diamondback water mm. snake. How about that? Well, how about that, Granny? Is that your first snake you ever caught? Uh, uh, uh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get a look at the patterns on him. Super pretty. He's, you can barely see that faint little diamond pattern on his back. And there's his belly. Got those beautiful half moon patterns on his belly. 
That's a good little snake, Granny. That's awesome for your first water snake. <laughs> and those are actually like the this meanest ones. This is as ones. big as I'm going, too. That's it's as big called. as you're going? How it's big, big is it? Like, as big as I'm going. He's about 15 inches. Mm -hmm. That is the meanest water snake out here, and you caught him. <laughs> <laughs> you literally caught the meanest one. Uh, are you proud of yourself? Yeah, I'm proud. <laughs> I'm proud. Can I'm one go, proud grandson right can now. Can he go home now? <laughs> yeah, you can let him go. We can put him back over here by his rock. We'll prop it up a little bit for him. Oh. <laughs> Good job, Granny. <laughs> <laughs> and there he goes. He's out of there. What a fun day today was. It was full of action. That's just the way that Jay and I like it. And really, to be honest with you guys, we had no idea that Granny was gonna catch that snake. <laughs> I didn't. Th I didn't think she was actually gonna do it. Yeah, she always says, "I'll catch those little green ones, those little, those little, uh, those little, uh, what do you call, <laughs> rough green snakes, those little rough green snakes." She's like, "I'll catch a gardener snake." Now I'm not catching them water snakes. They're mean. But we showed her today that not all of the water snakes are mean, okay? And that one was really chill. Yeah. Maybe next time she catches one, it won't be like that. We we promised we're not going to encourage Granny to go around picking up snakes anymore. We just wanted to see if she would. I honestly didn't think that she was. But if she so desires to pick up a snake, now she knows that it won't be that big of a deal. <laughs> I'm sure she'll come calling us first, though, yeah, before. Yeah. She always does. She was like, call, there's a snake in my garage. Hey, guys, thank you guys so much for tuning in and hanging out with us today. We had a blast. We had a great day. It was a beautiful day. The wind could have been a little bit less yeah. less abusive, but hey, it laid down for the afternoon hours, which was nice. So if you enjoyed today's upload, hit the like button for us, you know, leave some comments, tell and Granny, you know, way to go, Granny, for catching that snake. And if you haven't done so already, subscribe to our channel so you can keep up with all of our future videos. We're hey, Colin Jay, and we'll catch you on the next episode. Peace out, be safe, we'll see ya. Peace. Bye.